Alternate exterior angles can be illustrated with this situation that shows a set of train tracks and a wire that crosses the train tracks. The wire represents a transversal, which is the name for a line that crosses a pair of other lines. And the train tracks represent a pair of parallel lines because we know that train tracks are always parallel. Angles A and B in this diagram are alternate exterior. They are alternate because they are found on opposite sides of the transversal, opposite sides of the wire. And they are exterior because they are both found on the exterior of the parallel lines, outside of the train tracks. Angles C and D are also alternate exterior. They are alternate because they are found on opposite sides of the transversal, and they are exterior because they are both found on the outside of the pair of parallel lines. Whenever we create a pair of alternate exterior angles like A and B, we are also creating another alternate exterior pair of angles like C and D. Angles A and B have to have the same measure. Alternate exterior angles always have the same measure and therefore angles C and D have the same measure. But angles C and D do not have to have the same measure as angles A and B. Therefore, a transversal crossing a pair of parallel lines will always create two distinct pairs of alternate exterior angles.